Hello, readers. I bet it seems a little strange to just see black on the screen and hear my voice, doesn't it? Usually, when we're watching a video, we see images that go with the video. If it's read aloud, we see the book, or we can see a person reading to us. That's not always going to be the case on the test, though. There are going to be questions on the test to test your listening comprehension. And those passages are just going to be sound. Many times there won't be words to look at. You're just going to need to listen to the sound that they give you, which is why it's also really important to make sure on test days you have your headphones and that they're working because you'll need to listen to the sound and then try to answer some questions. So readers, here's a tip. Just like when you're reading passages on your own, it helps to listen first to get the basics, the big stuff in the text, the gist. In a nonfiction text, that often means listening for the main idea. That means we might miss some of the details the first time around or find something confusing, but we'll keep our questions in mind and keep going. After we listen once for the gist, we'll re-listen to get a better understanding. This time, with the questions in mind. So a good strategy is to read the directions because we're always reading the directions on our test and then to go ahead and listen to the sound. Listen to the short passage that's being read to you. Just listen to get the gist. What is it about? Is it about an animal? Is it about pizza? Is it a short story? So then you're going to go read the questions and go back and listen again to the audio clip with those questions in mind. Some questions that you might come across. Which sentence from the presentation best supports the main idea? Which statement best summarizes the presentation? Based on the presentation, which three statements best explain why? And they may finish the question with, a specific topic, which conclusion is supported by the presentation, which detail from the presentation best supports the conclusion that blank, or choose two details from the presentation that support the conclusion that blank. And if you notice here too, they're referring to it as a presentation. So you might hear presentation, you might hear passage, you might hear article. Any of those words might clue you back to that audio recording. An author's purpose question that might come up. What is the most likely reason the author made this presentation? And sometimes they might even ask you to think of a question. Which question can a listener answer after listening to this presentation? So how many of you feel like you're struggling right now because it's just my voice in a black screen? Right. You need to be patient Jot down notes if it will help you and go back and re-listen to the passages. So remember, for listening passages, preview the text and listen once for the gist. Preview the questions. Listen again, answering questions along the way. Answer all questions. Listen again as needed.